I always tell people Newburn is not shy about introducing herself. Newburn is an absolutely remarkable town. There's some extraordinarily important things here to see and do that tell us who we are as North Carolinians. Newburn's just an extremely charming town and just a great place to visit. When you just kind of walk the streets, there's always something to find. Opportunities for getting into nature and really relaxing and having some peace and quiet are just endless. Newburn is very quiet, a very unique place to stay, rich history. I love Newburn. As relaxing as you find its coastal landscape, you just have to experience Newburn by water. I went by way of pontoon with Cruise the Noose. We give 90-minute uh, tours up and down the rivers of Newburn here. So we go up the Trent River a little, little bit and um, talk about the history of the area. And sometimes we visit Nick Nicholas Park's house and uh, we'll turn around and then come back through the Inner Harbor here and go out onto the Noose River. And uh, the nicest part is you really get to see Newburn from the water. And that's a totally different perspective. And since we're the, the city between the two, two rivers, right, it's a, just a different way to look at the town. By doing it on a paddleboard or a kayak, it's accessible to a lot of people. People who can't rent a boat or don't have access to a boat. Almost anybody can afford to come and rent a kayak or a paddleboard for a little bit and get that view, that experience. You can see all these beautiful things. Historic waterfront of Newburn, Tryon Palace. Stand Up Outfitters is a paddleboard shop. We are located on Lawson Creek, which is named for John Lawson, one of the founders of Newburn. One of the most exciting things about being here is the Croatan National Forest. And a lot of weekends go by, and 10 out of 12 weekends at some point, I'm in the Croatan. We even have a paved bike trail. If you are, are more limited in your abilities to get out, that's a, a great and safe place to go to to get really into the woods and into the forest canopy a little. Another recreational area with historic ties is Battlefield Park. It was the location of a turning point victory for the Union in the American Civil War. This is the Newburn Battlefield Park, privately owned by the Newburn Historical Society. We've got about 33 acres here. This is part of the Civil War trail system, so people around the country who are interested in the Civil War know that this is on a series of places that they can go to learn about Civil War events. This is just a jewel of a park for the city. It's open to the public 24-7, and people come here just to enjoy the nature. You can choose to focus on the Civil War, you can choose to focus on the Revolution, African American history, architecture. There's really something for everyone. The building behind me is uh, the Tryon Palace. It was built uh, by Governor Tryon and uh, completed in 1771. It tells the story not only of colonial North Carolina, but also of early statehood. It was the first state capital of North Carolina. Tryon Palace is your launch pad for tours of all kinds, but there's another memorable tour offered only by appointment. It's just a few miles outside of Newburn in James City, where artist Ben Watford takes you inside of a restored 19th century slave quarters. This is the Crockett Miller Slave Quarters. It's one of the last freestanding slave quarters in the state of North Carolina. When you get inside, you're gonna see that we did not put the furniture that would normally be in a slave quarters because it was only a table and a chair. So inside, we put old tools of that period. We're located inside the airport, inside the gates of the airport, mainly because the old slave cemetery is here. The cemetery contains 522 graves. After seven or eight, gen 10 generations, no one comes to a, goes to a graveyard, so we're the only caretakers in this graveyard. The question that was frequently asked to me when I was preserving the slave quarters was, why would a black man want to preserve the slave quarters? It's a part of history. It's something that we don't want to forget. These are remarkable stories that we are able to tell by being completely truthful to what our history is. Newburn is the town of bears, but not more than you can bear. It was founded by a fellow from Bern, Switzerland, and in Swiss, 
burn means bear. So for its 300th birthday, local artists painted a lot of bears, creating a sort of neat reminder that New Bern is a destination for artists. We are community artists, gallery, and studios. Our feeling is that we want to reach out to the community and help share our God-given talents with everyone. I think everyone in here, that we have many different artists, expresses that inner love for, for the world through their art, whether it's in glass or basket making or jewelry. It's an inner core that you want to share with everyone. Because we live in a town that we restore, I sometimes take my work apart, I break it, and then I reconstruct it and restore it, because those are the things that I deal with in my daily life. The second Friday of every month, starting at 5 o'clock, the streets of New Bern are alive for Art Walk, a concept of the Craven Arts Council housed in this historic building. The front entrance is that majestic, it's our main gallery which is incredible when you look up at that skylight that was resurrected about five years ago with a campaign and then you look at the incredible art around the wall, the different wall, then we have the sculpture and floor pieces and then you come back through one area and it's the actual old vault from the bank. So you get to walk through the vault and we've got a lot of pottery and things there and then you come back here and this is the gallery shop. New Bernians or visitors to the area can go around and visit all the different galleries and studios and it's a way for people to just explore what's here in New Bern on all the different streets that are available. So there's a lot of different places to explore and to look at with the history and the new creative art. Uh, focus that we have now. Art Walk is a fun social activity to support the arts. In turn, a lot of artists work to support the community. I'm Lisa Bisbee Lenz, and this is the Greater Good Gallery in New Bern, North Carolina. And my main artists are Carol Jones, Lee Hood, John Derby. And remember our tour guide, Ben Watford, these are his face jugs. Just another way art and history come together in New Bern. When it comes to food and fun in New Bern, the locals are pretty vocal. Beer Army Burger Company. I usually just get the G.I. Joe, but their sweet potato fries are fantastic. You gotta go to MJ's, you gotta go to Martin, you gotta go to Stingray. Cow Cafe right next door, you gotta go by. It's Mayola ice cream, which was actually based in New Bern, and they make their own ice cream, and then they've got the kids section in the back, and they've got the little train going around the track up top. The Cow Cafe is just down the block from another guilty pleasure, Bear City Fudge, where free samples help you make up your mind. Now for a hot breakfast, I checked out Baker's Kitchen, whose hot home-style breakfast menu has everything from golden waffles to bacon and eggs, plus scrumptious made-from-scratch pastries and tasty cookies to go. For dinner, I stopped at the Harvey Mansion's Circa 1810, where the charm and talent of Chef Vincent Farrow keeps customers coming back. The food is my passion of anything that I've ever done. I wanted to do Italian Mediterranean because I wanted to bring in other flavors and do some fusion like Moroccan, French, um, you know, uh, Spanish and Italian, Greek, Israeli. So um, we were doing a Mediterranean Italian cuisine. And I do actually do some Asian in there because I love that also. New Bern has a very surprising nightlife. A lot of people don't really realize it. it's something that's kind of new and upcoming in the past. I'd say five years or so. Uh, one of our favorite spots is Prohibition. Um, it's one of our favorite spots to meet people. There's a recently created brewery called uh, Brewery 99, which has some amazing beers that I have people, from some friends from Raleigh, Winston-Salem, Charlotte have all heard about it. The Brown Pelican, it has that old salty port town feel. You know, old guys with ponytails who obviously have been on sailboats all their lives to, to young people who are home from college. So you'll see at the end of the day, there really is something for everyone in New Bern. To find out more about Newburn, go to visitnewburn.com.